Hello, and welcome to another episode of Grammar Gurus. On this episode, we will look at using have and have got. We will look at the difference in how they are used and how to form them as questions and negatives. Let's start with the difference in how they are used. There is none. Basically, have and have got can be used interchangeably. You can use either one and it doesn't change the meaning. Only the form changes. Both are used in the present simple tense to talk about possession, something that belongs to you, something that is yours. For example, I can say, I have a book or I have got a book. Both sentences have the same meaning. Speakers of American and British English use both forms. However, speakers of American English use the have form much more often, and speakers of British English use the have got form much more often. So, if the meaning's the same, Let's look at the form and see how that is different. I have got a brother. I have a brother. Okay, in the first sentence, the have got form uses both a helper verb and a main verb. Have is the helper verb and got is the main verb. Normally, we would blend I and have together and make a contraction, so it would be I've got a brother. In the second sentence, the have form, we only use a main verb, have. I want to say again that the meaning of these two sentences is the same. Now, let's make questions out of these sentences. Let's look at the first sentence. In this sentence, we already have a helper verb, have. So all we have to do is move it to the front, and now it's a question. Have I got a brother? The answer to this question is either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. We use the helper verb in the short answer. Now let's look at the second sentence. In this sentence, we don't have a helper verb, only the main verb have. So what do we do when we don't have a helper verb already in the sentence and we need one? We use do. So let's take do and put it in front, and now we have a question. Do I have a brother? Let's look at making negatives. In our first example, we already have a helper verb, so we just add not, and it becomes, I have not got a brother, or I haven't got a brother. In our second example, we do not have a helper verb, so we add do and not, and it becomes, I don't have a brother. She has got brown hair. She has brown hair. In these sentences, we use has instead of have because of the she, he, it rule. When a she, he, or it is the subject in the present tense, the verb takes an S. Other than that, it's the same. She has got brown hair is normally said as, she's got brown hair. Questions. Has she got brown hair? And does she have brown hair? Negatives. She hasn't got brown hair. And she doesn't have brown hair. I recommend using the plain have as a main verb construction because it's just simpler to use and understand. The have got form is a little bit odd, to be honest. It's the only present simple construction that I can think of that uses have as a helper verb. It looks exactly like a present perfect construction, but is used in present simple. Have got is used very commonly. It is correct English grammar, and you will hear it constantly from British English speakers. So it is important to learn, but as I said, Mostly, you should try to use the have construction.
All right, well, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of Grammar Gurus. If you like this episode, go ahead and click the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and if you would like to support our channel, check out our Patreon page to help us make more videos. As always, go ahead and leave any questions or comments in the description box below, and thank you for watching.